Hello, my name is Sandra Fain and I'm a part of the communications class at Jackson State Community College. Each of us are the main characters in our own story. And that story in today's 21st century is archived somewhere in the cloud and across social media with daily quotes, statements, check-ins, and most importantly, photographs. The digital age has made communication of every manner so accessible that there is no age limit or socioeconomic boundaries that refrains anyone from partaking. In this 21st century, everyone has a communication device in their pockets. You can speak, you can text, you can even photograph. The last 15 years have seen more photographs taken than probably the last 170 years since Daguerre announced the new photographic invention of his, the camera. Digital photography, I think, is a glorious invention and concept, one which I use daily myself but I have found one flaw with the digital age in which gives me pause, and that is the fading away of the printed photograph. With the invention of photography, we began to record our history in printed photographs. We see the world through photography, whether it's studying history, planning a vacation, or even ordering our food, we are surrounded by printed photographs. I would like to introduce into my rhetoric today one Miss Ellen Wilmot of Worley Place, Essex. She was a horticulturalist in 1890 who began experimenting with photography as a means of recording her work in the garden, teaching and publishing her craft as a horticulturalist. She became highly publicized, not just for her gardening knowledge, but for her photography of her gardens as well. And one quote, which struck home with me from a publication called Country Life in 1897. It was about her garden book said that perhaps the pictures are even the best in the black and white presentment of a scene that can be held in the hand and examined quietly and at leisure. The merits of the scene can be fairly judged. This quote, Perhaps the pictures are the best and that can be held in the hand and examined quietly. My heart lies within this quote with all printed photography. Growing up and even with my own children, we were limited as to how many photos we could take. Once a roll of film was complete, we would take it to the printing store, send it off to be printed and wait for it to return. Uh, the excitement of picking up that bulky package of photos and ripping it open right there in the store to see what we had captured was priceless. Uh, I mean, I can remember those days so vividly. Everything that I have, that has ever happened in my life has been recorded in photographs and printed. I have albums and boxes full and overflowing to tell the story of me, of my parents, and most important to me, the beginning of my children's story. One of my greatest pleasures in life is filtering through old photos uh, of my grandparents and my parents, and even now filtering through the photos of my children from their beginning and the memories that we've made and the memories that we are still making and photographing. I love looking through old photos and recalling moments that one day I know will escape my memory and will certainly outlive me. And one day, I, the main character of my story, will exit stage left and the credits will roll as my children filter through my photographs and it will bring them a quiet peace. It will be the one treasure of mine that they will desire because it will keep my legacy alive. It will give them a starting place for their own story. And my hope is that in this digital age of sending it all to the cloud, 
that we realize the importance of printed photography and we will once again return to getting that package of photographs and ripping it open to see what treasures we have captured. My hope is that my children, when they reach the time in their story to exit stage left, that they too, like me, will have left behind a box of printed photographs so that my grandchildren will have their history in their hands and the starting point of their story to hold and examine quietly and at leisure. And that they will see that they have been loved from generation through generation. So I implore you to go print your photographs. After all, a, a cloud is intangible, but a printed photograph can be held in the hand and placed on the heart. Thank you.